My next guests have deep roots in the world of football. Dad is a Division I college coach. Mom grew up with her father playing in the NFL, so football is in the family. And now the kids are capitalizing on their football heritage to help children with epilepsy get the helmets that they need. From Helmets for Helmets, let's welcome Sarah, 10-year-old Bryson, who copes with epilepsy every day, 12-year-old Brock, who is so tall, y'all, and Aristotle. <laughs> Give it up for him. You are a tall boy. I'm just saying. I was like, woo. Looks like my nephew. So can y'all first tell us like how this all came about and like your football's in your family, right? Yes. Yeah. My dad was drafted into the NFL when I was six months old and played 16 years, mostly wow. with the Saints and a little bit against um, Troy Aikman. They're on oh the same God. side of the ball, so never a head to head. But oh, wow. yes, and so he played until I was 16 and it's been obviously my whole life. Oh my gosh, and, and you coach. Yes, I'm a yeah. running backs coach at the University of California. So going into my third season there, I've been coaching for over 20 years. So it's in our blood and we've been. Wow. Go Bears. Yeah. <laughs> so we've been fortunate enough to, to have the young people that we are involved with, the, the players, have them in our homes. It's like an extended out. family. Yes. Huge extended family. Yeah. And these guys have a bunch of big brothers, uncles, if you will, that are taking yeah. care of them, always looking out for them. I love that. Um, so when was Bryson diagnosed with epilepsy? Bryson was diagnosed when he was almost four years old and completely out of the blue. We noticed that he yeah. was running and he would fall over. And we just thought that his feet were growing too fast. Yeah. And he was tripping over them. And so one time he was running towards me and I could see the look of terror in his face. And he fell over and he convulsed a little bit. And so we took him to the emergency room. They confirmed that it was in fact a seizure, put him on medicine. And a week later, he was playing in the backyard with Brock, and Brock came running in and said Bryson had fallen and he's not getting up. And I looked out the back door, and I saw that he wasn't moving, and I thought that we had lost him. Oh and he had a 15-minute long grand mall and 45 minutes unresponsive, which as a mom, like, you know like how long I'm that gonna can be. going to break down any second. Yes. That's it's so That's long. so terrifying. Yes. Um, mm. He's gone, though, from 100 seizures a day to now we can sometimes get him to go a day without a seizure. A hun 100 a day? Yes. Oh, my God. That's yes. a lot on your body as well. So, I mean, at first you had issues getting a helmet for him, right? That's correct. Yes, our doctor told us that um, it was medically necessary. He was having 100 a day. He couldn't even get off the couch without having a seizure. And it was hard to and get that. They won't. The insurance denied it, even though doctors are saying, mm -hmm. you know, they, he has to have one. Yeah. And so we ended up getting one. And um, my dad called the Saints immediately and asked them, you know, my grandson has to wear this helmet, we gotta make it cool. And they sent us their helmet decals that they have, that they put on it. their helmets, yeah. um, so that we can make his helmet look like a real football player. Absolutely, and it makes it cool. Yes, yeah. gotta make it cool. Oh my God, so Brock and Bryson, you guys decided to help other kids who need helmets, right? Yes, we would, we would mail letters to, team, to NFL teams, NBA teams, NHL teams, and other famous people hoping for a response and if they do send something back we'll auction it off online or at a live event like we have one coming up and if they and if we can sell them for enough we'll buy helmets for kids like Bryson who suffer epilepsy. That's an amazing thing to do. Bryson is it cool to be able to help out other kids like that are in your position that you know have epilepsy as well? Yes. Yeah? It's because you look pretty rad, my man. I'm just saying in that helmet right now. So you've gotten helmets from some superstars, right? So who, who's, who's sent stuff? We want to brag about them. Uh, uh, oh, oh, yeah, I've gotten a Drew Brees helmet, a Pam Manny helmet, a, a, ga a Game Ready Tom Brady wow. helmet from the Patriots, and, 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 and a good guitar from, a, 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 a signed guitar fr from Little Big Town. We've also oh, got, I love Little Big Town. We've got a basketball, from Col basketball and jersey from Kobe Bryant. Oh. We've had four helmets signed by the LA Kings and a Chiefs helmet signed by Nicole Hardman. Oh my gosh, and this is great because all that raises money to be able to pay for these helmets for kids. It's been, a, it's been yeah. amazing. We've had about 150 people reach out to us, which is the most amazing thing. We haven't purchased yeah. one thing. And so they wow. have 150 celebrities have sent them things in order to buy um, over 50 helmets for other kids. Oh my gosh.
Our next guest reached out to Helmets for Helmets when their son Colin was diagnosed with epilepsy. And they say this family helped them get through the hardest parts. Let's say hi to Dakiti, Anton, London, and Colin. Hi! Hi, guys. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Dakiti, I'm going to start with you. So take us back to when Colin was diagnosed. Sure. So Colin was diagnosed when he was two. Uh, with epilepsy. We noticed that he just was unresponsive. I was helping him change his clothes and I noticed something wasn't right. And um, so, you know, after taking him to the doctor um, and as the years progressed, he got on medication um, and he started having these drop seizures. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what to do. Um, you know, it's a very scary thing. Uh, we're very private. Um, you know, and I couldn't figure it out. You know, as a mom, you want to fix it, put a Band-Aid on it, we're good. Well, that didn't happen, couldn't do that. Um, I became very withdrawn, didn't really want to talk to anyone about it because I was figuring it out myself um, until we heard Bryson's story. My husband reached out to Helmets for Helmets and I just have to say that, you know, by him doing that, that was, gosh, sorry, that was the biggest point for me and the inspiration just to see his story um, and just to see Sarah's determination that gave me the strength to start talking about epilepsy. Um, and so at that point, um, you know, Colin got his helmet and Colin, <laughs> can you show your helmet? Colin got his helmet. He was so excited, you know, so happy. He wore his helmet to school. Um, Colin, what did they call you when you wore your helmet to school? Superhero. Hey! <laughs> so he was a superhero at school. And, um, you know, I, I, we're happy to say, very happy to say that today, um, you know, after medications and, and weaning off some and surgery, um, that he is drop seizure free. Oh, my so, God. Yeah. What a blessing. I can't, I mean, just hearing you mamas talk about this and daddies, like seeing your kid, you get you that helplessness, that like, I don't know what to do. And you want to, you want to, oh, I, I can't even imagine how terrifying that is. That's such good news though, Colin. Um, so Dakiti, Anton and London, I know that you have something that you want to say to Bryce and his family. So go ahead and go for it. Um, Sarah, first of all, I want to say mom to mom, um, you have been such an inspiration to me. Um, Bryson is such an amazing um, little hero for Colin and for our family. And I just want to tell you that, you know, we love your family and we love you guys so much because you have changed our lives. And thank you for helping me through it in the middle of the night, different time zones, <laughs> asking <laughs> questions. So thank you so much. Aww. That's awesome to have someone to talk. That would have helped you, right? Yes. Had you had someone to call? Yes, you feel like you're on an island by yourself. You really do mm -hmm. because it, um, like Takiti was saying, people don't talk about it. I think there's a stigma and that's why we wanted to really break that. Probably. And you're scared and you don't know what's happening and you don't know how to fix it. And as a mama, you just want to fix it and you can't. And that's the, oh. so hard. Yeah, but look, you've helped I others. know, it's that, amazing. It has to feel good. <laughs> it does. Um, well, we reached out to Academy Sports and Outdoors, and they love the work that y'all are doing at Helmets for Helmets. Um, so to help you keep more families safe, they're donating $5,000. Oh, my gosh. And <laughs> also, also, I'm going to throw in $5,000. And also, so I have, I don't know, much money, which is why I'm also giving you the five grand personally. But it might get you something because they're <gasps> they're only giving out to my teams on the voice. So anyway, I signed. This is a team wow. Kelly dragon, and I signed it. So anyway, I'm I'm giving you money just in case it makes nothing. It's <laughs> gonna make. Oh my gosh! But it might make so something. <laughs> what are you saying? So y'all can sell yeah. this and, and buy some helmets. But anyway, Thank please let us know anything we can ever do. We love what you're doing, um, and it's it's very important. I'm so glad y'all are here to, to share this message with everyone. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Absolutely.